Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, the IYT, the USO, the UUP, and the GLD. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. So let's go right to the daily spider. First thing I see is the 49 million on the day. I think we had 42, then right at the end they popped it up. And then also that's after hours action as well. So another light volume day, guys, after a heavy volume sell. Boom, right back up five days in a row. Kill the puts, like I always say. Back to double top, though. So today's high was 240.73. We did crack it. It did not close above the all-time high, so you have to keep an eye on that. Again, if you're bullish, we're here right at this point. It needs to start either consolidating, maybe underneath this trend line, or just keep it going, guys. 245.37. 246 is the area where this could possibly go, which is the trend line here. We broke above, came back in, retraced back up, came down. A little bit of bullish consolidation, dropped it, then popped it. Bullish consolidation, dropped it, popped it. Back above the MA, strong stance with the light volume going into the holiday weekend. Uh, what else would you expect here? So they'll probably hold it up the next couple days to do nothing. And uh, let's take it from there. Again, news is driving these markets, guys. So who knows if something comes out tomorrow, good or bad, but we will find out. The Fed did nothing today, I believe. A uh, little bit of rotation in the in the middle of the day, right at 2 o'clock, down and straight up. A little bit of a bullish pattern, then straight up to close the day at the all-time highs. So pretty much at the all-time highs, but did not close above the uh, 240.67 area with the light volume. Let's keep an eye on that for tomorrow and Friday. IWM, again, light volume, a little bit more than yesterday, but uh, we retraced right to the 20 MA, came right back in. Um, let's see what happens, guys. You know, five days up, got above the 50, strong stance, bullish pattern going across the board, back above the trend line as well. But um, let's see what happens tomorrow on the day. If we Do we push up or, or better yet, do we gap up? I, I, they probably would gap it up over this gap fill. Maybe a little higher, right around the end, an even number of 139. So watch for that. I mean, that's a heck of a gap up on a low volume day. But at this point, I wouldn't rule anything out, guys. Anything's possible at this point. But again, daily IWM, it's okay. Bearish pattern started playing out, got it back up. This could be a short term retrace. So let's keep an eye on this one the next two days. Right now, it's really, really not showing us anything other than a nice retrace back up into this area where it is resistance as well as the 20 MA. So again, though, 21 million on the day, a little bit better than yesterday. Have to keep an eye on the volume. The Qs, guys, what can I say? This one did close above the all-time high, so let's see some volume. Did we make it to the, uh, nope, didn't make it to the 140 area. So maybe we gap above and keep going. I would not rule out 145 to 150 on this one if it keeps going. Once we get above here, close and confirm. I want to see more volume pushing this thing up. Then we'll take it from there. Again, though, I'm playing a lot of these on the weekly charts, guys. I don't talk about it too much. But I want to see a close up in this area above 140 for the next week to possibly push a little higher. I'd still like to see more volume. Look at this volume, guys. We're going to have nothing by Friday. Unless some news comes out, then we'll take it from there. But daily chart above all the MAs, weekly above the all, all the MAs. Good stance, strong. But the volume again, guys, we had massive volume on the selling, not massive, but a good amount of volume, slower, slower into nothing again. And what do we do when we get nothing, guys? We just float. So they brought it right back to the highs, which was amazing. So that little blip five days back right above gets everyone excited. Let's go out and buy some cars and boats this weekend. It's a three day weekend. Let's go. Markets at the high. We feel good. Everything's great. So again, light volume. Watch for that. <laughs> Oh, man, guys, these markets, just a snooze fest with the light volumes. Just just beware. You know, if you're buying puts, you know, I know a lot of people probably bought puts down there. We bought a small a small position. It was right around 1200 bucks. I go no more than 1000 1200 800 right in that area. If I lose it, it's like going to the casino. Well, it is the casino, guys. So, but, God, we're back. Did we fill the gap? We just barely, we might have filled this gap today, maybe by uh, a couple pennies. Let's look at the 10 minutes. Just want to see, did we fill it? Oh, here it is right here. Yep, right at the end of the day, we filled it. Unbelievable. These guys are unreal. But again, back above the MA, strong stance for the DIA, which is the Dow. Bullish pattern came back in, but it overall, it's bullish for the last couple months. You know, if this thing doesn't start going, again, we got to get above gap fill. 
and we got to get above this trend line double top to 11.59 and I think we go to 215 220 and then possibly up into the 224 area 225 area the quarter number but again we got to get above, uh, back above here first and then we'll take it from there guys though nothing wrong with these indexes especially with the light volume I, I just can't buy up here that's just, that's just not me guys sorry let's go to the uh, IYT Again, like the IWM, this one's lagging a little bit, just like before. But, you know, they took this one up like a rocket ship to get everybody excited again. We did crack below this trend line, retraced up, brought it back down. We're in this trend. We got back below, never confirmed, pushed it right back up. We're right back in this middle. So I wouldn't rule out coming right back here to the tops. You know, there was a gap fill here before. But, you know, th there's some good resistance around 167.38 or so. So first step, got to get it above the MAs. I would think they'd have to gap this thing up, get it above the uh, gap fill and this pivot and keep this thing going to this uh, trend line up here and the 750 retrace. That's my thoughts. If they can't get it above here, watch for a nice reversal coming back in. And if we reverse, this thing's going to hit this and probably keep going. Still think we're getting the 150 on this, possibly lower. So if you're short with us, just stick with the trade. We're in the money, a couple bucks. So let's see what we can get out of this thing. All right, let's go to the famous USO and the OPEC meeting, I believe it's tomorrow or Friday. So let's see what this thing gives us. Let's let's hope this thing pops up one more time into this area. If it does, we will be going short or at least adding long to the SCO, which is a short ETF to oil. This goes down, the SCO moves up. But since it's a triple ETF, it moves a little bit quicker. Here's some of the areas I'm watching. During the last couple of videos too, we do have a nice trend line down in here. Right around here, around 32.55, 33.55, somewhere in there. If we could get a nice little pierce and have it come back down into here and then shoot up. I mean, 30 is a pretty good level as well. So let's see how this thing reacts at this uh, trend line down here. If it cuts through it, then we'll probably wait for lower prices. This thing tends to hold and chop around. Then we'll think about adding to the oil position again on the short side. Remember, this is the SEO. This, this moves inverse to the uh, USL. Again, we took it here, we took it down in here, we took it, did we, no, uh, yeah, we might have did the, I think we did it three or four times. We did it, we did it somewhere in here too, we were adding, and then it came to double bottom, we added again, and then boom, took off, pulled it off again, and then chop, 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 and then did it here, did it here, and hopefully we could catch this one more time for one more move up, and I think this last move might bring us back into the $50 area, but We'll keep an eye on the USO and stuff like that. Let's get to the UUP. The UUP, again, guys, you know, they're talking about dollar reversal off the bottom, blah, blah, blah. Again, no pattern, just like this. We had a pattern, popped up. It was like, oh, let's see what happens. Still bearish. And then, boom, right back down. We did hit the gap fill yesterday. You'd expect the bounce. Or the other day, got the bounce yesterday. Boom, right back in. Dollar was down $0.08. Cents. Again, though, let's watch for down sideways. Let's see if it retraces a little bit. Back up into this area, maybe fill the gap going up, and then the next leg down. I'm still thinking lower prices uh, for the dollar, and then that will send, uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll, that, that should send gold higher. But again, it gets disconnected a little bit here and there. Let's watch this pattern here. Let's give it another four or five days sideways, or does it do the head fake where it pops up, consolidates for a couple days, and then comes back in. But right now, guys, bearish comes in, starting to get bearish. Let's see if this comes in too. So if you are um, short the uh, UUP or the dollar, keep riding it, guys. Gets down into this area, even this pivot here around 24.50 or so. Start just start tightening the stops, and then eventually we're gonna hit an area. I'd oh, I mean, I'd, I'd love 24 bucks here, but I think right around 24.30, 34 we can start adding. You have another gap fill around 24.13. And then here, at least know that you probably add about three to four times here. If you get it here, you get it here at this gap fill, maybe load the house right here and go to, um, still go to a three-quarter position. I wouldn't go full position. I would add, I would leave a little bit just in case it goes down one more leg and tries to shake everybody out. So watch for that with the UUP. Right now, a little bit weak, so be careful if you are long the dollar. GLD got a little bit of a boost today, 47 cents. We talked about the uh, moving averages. Right now, they gaffed it above, didn't want to deal with it. Holding, holding, holding. We've been going sideways six days now. Let's see if this thing can hold and start moving. Seven, eight days, maybe Friday we start moving possibly. If it doesn't move Friday, let's look for Tuesday, Wednesday. Then we'll be going sideways for about seven, eight days. 
But, you know, if we go 10, 11, 12, that's even a better chance for this thing to pop through. Remember, we got some resistance at this trend line here. Double top, gap fill, gap fill. So if this thing builds pressure, that'll give a better reason to pop through this stuff and keep going. I still think we're going to 125 and then possibly the 130 area if the gold really starts to rumble. You got all these high pivots in here. That's what I'm saying. You got 130, 131, 11, but you know, even around 125 is pretty good. We sold half here, which was the right right move, came right back in. Should have bought more here, but we didn't. Popped up. Let's see if this trend line breaks out, though. We'll be going to 131, 132. So keep an eye on the GLD. Go to the JNUG today. JNUG was up 43 cents. No great shakes. But remember, we talked about people taking profits. It did stay above the 20 MA, which is very important. The pattern's still intact here. Remember, if you bought at 14, this thing gets to 20. It's a $6 trade. Sell something. So that's what I think people did. A little bit of selling. So if you're lucky enough to get it back around 15, 60, no, 15, 15 uh, let's see, 15.95. Let's just say 16 bucks, 16 and a quarter. Boom, we're back up. Keep an eye on this guy. Slightly bullish, but overall down, kind of sideways, down, kind of sideways. A little bit bear setup. If this thing goes, you know, on the downside, then you got to watch out if it cracks this. But this bullish, slightly bullish pattern plays out. I want to get out. It's got to get going tomorrow. If it comes right back in, then I'd expect right back to the lows. It's got to get going right here to start pushing. And if we do get a nice push and a nice follow through tomorrow off this little tail, then we'll keep an eye on the J Nug to see if it's going higher. But ultimately, with the J Nug, you got to go to the GDXJ. Which is holding the 20 MA still. Look at that though. This is more choppy, sloppy action. Boom, boom, up and down, up and down, boom. But there's a trend line here too that we're running into as well. So it's through price, but it did help hold this thing up, came in, got above it, retraced back down. Let's see if we can start to move from here. We are still um, above the 20 MA, still below the 50 and the, uh, and the 200 MA. But uh, that's a tall task, guys. I, I'm telling you, if this thing guy starts going though, it's got to get above this pivot, fill the gap, get above the 50 MA. If it does that, then we'll have to wait for pattern, see if it sets up. But if this pattern plays out, really starts to go, I think we can easily get to the $40 level or the 39 area in this um, in this uh, vicinity, especially with the 750 retrace. We've got these pivots here, too. I think there's one. Yeah, there's one pivot back here, too. Right around 38.51, so watch for that on the GDXJ. So, But again, guys, you know, not... When this thing was slipping today, it was like, oh gosh, here we go. It's going to go right back down to the lows. And it held on. So that that's kind of talking to us. Volume wasn't terrible, but it was a lot better than the last uh, two days, you know, a day and a half ago or two days ago when we had nothing on the GDXJ. So people are waiting. People are probably loading up on this thing, waiting to go. But uh, again, who knows? We'll see where this thing takes us in the next couple of days. All right, guys, uh, if you're not a member at StockBookie, go there, sign up. It's free. You'll get videos like this, and you'll get email alerts. There are live streaming sessions, our trade ideas. Uh, we're working on a couple things with the email packages, trying to get that settled straight because uh, we have a bunch of members. I want to get some emails out to everybody at one time, not shooting out four emails at a time to say, hey, we sold Tiffany today or we covered Tiffany today for a, for a great short or we covered this or we bought this or we did that. So just keep an eye out for that. And uh, again, sign up, guys. It's free. Stockbookie.com. All right. Thanks again for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.